What's up YouTube, back for another video. This is actually the early morning for me. I don't know what time it is for you when you're watching this video, but it's early morning. But we got something good, man. We got something real good. I'm gonna do a reverse sear on like, I'm doing something for the church. So I'm gonna do a reverse sear on like 20, I think it's 2022 ribeyes in the drum. And then we're gonna finish them, finish them off on the Blackstone griddle, man. It's gonna be some good stuff. But I got a little trick. I'm putting a little wood in there and I'm gonna add a little onion, add a little flavor, because the drum is all about the smoke and the flavor, so y'all stay tuned, yeah boy! Alright guys, the story begins. I have one chimney of just charcoal. Just one chimney of charcoal. One stick of western uh, post oak and one whole onion. That's all I'm putting in there. Let's get the steaks ready. Alright, the premise behind this whole reverse sear is we just want to incorporate some smoke in these steaks. We're not trying to cook them, we're just merely trying to get some smoke in them. So I don't really want to go over 200 225 degrees. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna try to keep my temperature right there I just use one chimney of charcoal one whole uh, red onion purple onion whatever you want to call it and one big chunk of post oak Western post oak. That's it. So Let's season up the steaks. Let's stick them on the grill Let's get ready to roll All right guys, there they go, man. It's like 22 uh, Probably about a half inch thick ribeyes and we're gonna go ahead and season them up I'm not gonna oil these down at all I'm simply going to go ahead and season these this is a combination of my our grill party dust and uh, a steak seasoning that I like I'm gonna season these down stick them in the in the barrel and off we go no oil right now we'll oil down the blackstone and that's it y'all stay tuned let me get these steaks seasoned up yeah boy all right we're going with a two great setup these steaks aren't very big, so we're not going to cook them. We're not going to smoke them in here very long. And again, this is simply just so they can absorb some smoke. As you can see at the bottom, there's not a lot of charcoal at all. But man, a good ribeye with some good post oak smoke, brother, there ain't nothing better than that. So let me go ahead and continue to put these in here. I'm going to do two racks, and I'll be back in a minute. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, let's take a look. I just want y'all to see. Like, they in there. They are stuffed in there. And like I say, I'm not trying to cook them. I'm just trying to get them to absorb some smoke, so I don't really care how they're organized in there. And if you look at the bottom rack, if you can see it in there, they're in there. 22 on a drum smoker, baby. Two racks. Also to note, if you, if you notice on my, uh, on my vents, I've only got them cracked just a little bit. The top one, is indeed wide open but the side ones are cracked just a little bit so I can get some airflow because again I don't want to I don't want to uh, you know put bad smoke on this meat I want to put some good smoke on this meat so there we go y'all stay tuned shameless plug excellent on steaks just thought I'd put it out there pretty much excellent on everything but dynamite like JJ Evans on steaks yeah boy all right all right also worth noting if you notice I'm getting nice smoke coming out it's not black it's not uh, brown it's not dark gray it's just a beautiful essence of smoke coming out that's what you want when you are smoking or even when you reverse searing man let that wood burn down a little bit before you put your proteins in there all right just to recap we've got 22 ribeyes we're gonna reverse sear them in our drum smoker I took them fresh out the fridge seasoned them up I didn't oil them down at all I just want that cold meat to absorb as much of that smoke as it can plus I didn't I put the seasoning on last I didn't want the seasoning to start to draw moisture and all that that foolishness so fresh out the fridge right into the drum smoker a lot of drum smoker to bring the temp of the meat up slowly just like you would if you cooked a regular ribeye steak you would leave it out for probably about 30 minutes before you sear it on both sides so it's not cold in the middle so y'all stay tuned we got good stuff coming up all right y'all let's take a peek we are probably about 30 minutes in. Look at that. Looking good. Girl's not even that hot. I can actually pick it up. The second grade. Look at that. 
Yes, sir. Man, that smoke is popping, man. That post oak, Western post oak is incredible, dude. All right, stay tuned. All right, our ribeyes have been on a total of 40 minutes. Now it's time to take them off and get them seared up. I have a combination of grapeseed oil and um, avocado oil in this griddle. See that beautiful smoke bath? See how that smoke is turning them a little, turn them a little bit? That's what you want to see before you put them on the grill. Yeah, boy. Now let's go on. Let's go on, baby. Reverse here, baby. Mm -hmm. That's 25 ribeyes, man. We cooked them to medium. They came out perfect. The people really enjoyed them, man. So, again, man, don't be afraid to smoke in your smoker and then finish them off on your flat top, man. But as always, man, good food, good vibes. Yeah, boy! Mm -hmm.